Enos saw that order and chaos were now unequal, and he bade Enos to take his divine power from the Enos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduce himself as Ringaroo, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days, and every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. I can get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. How much gold was in that purse? 50 gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. Show me your wares. Jora says you've got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left! Let me go, man! I'll see to it that you are put behind bars. Oh. I don't want any more trouble. If you think that's what you should do, then be my guest. Hey, be careful, though. My friends are not gonna like what you're pulling here. Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat immediately, and to arm himself appropriately. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Rengaru stole from the merchant Jora. 
He tried to skedaddle, but I caught him. Good. My men have already picked him up. He won't be stealing from anyone else in the near future. Here is your money. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? Yeah, I caught him all right. He's gonna cool his heels in jail for a while. What about my gold? Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos be praised. There is still justice in the city. Hey, you wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. No, you've got to be mistaken. Everything's fine with me. Whatever you say, stranger. But if that happens to be your mug after all, and if you have some problems, keep them outside of this town. Things are difficult enough here as it is. And strangers who bring trouble into the city don't stay here long. I hope I make myself clear. But the light was a torment for Beliar. All that Inos created was destroyed by Beliar. Adonis saw that this way... Ah, you've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell, a spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. Tell me more about the experiment and the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance, if he has been knocked down or robbed. Even if he has only witnessed such a deed, he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. If there are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. All right, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll 
and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. Town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Can I get a drink here? As long as you have gold, you can even eat here if you want. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? <laughs> Some of those swells can really get on your nerves. Take that Valentino, for instance. I can't stand the sight of him, but I can't pick my customers. I need every coin I can make. The little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. What is it with this Valentino? He's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everyone, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. Then, early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. Show me your wares. Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about Adonos. Adonos is the god of the center. He is the scales of justice and guardian of the balance between Inos and Beliar. He commands the power of change. His gift is the water in all the oceans, rivers, and lakes. His priests are the water mages just as I am a servant and priest of Adonis. Tell me about Inos. Very well. 
Innos is the first and highest god. He created the sun and the world. He commands light and fire, his gifts to humanity. He is law and justice. His priests are the magicians of fire. The paladins are his warriors. Tell me about Beliar. Beliar is the dark god of death, destruction, and all things unnatural. He is an eternal battle with Inos, but Adonos guards the balance between the two. Only a few humans follow the call of Beliar. However, he grants great strength to those who do. What do you want? I wanted to have a look around here. Then where exactly are you headed? What interesting things are there to see here? There's uh, a cat house here and a tavern. The landlord's name is Kardef. If it's information you want, he'll be the right person to talk to. Do you uh, need money, by the way? Are you giving it away? No, but right across the street here is the uh, house of Lamar, the money lender. Well, I'm sure he'll give you a few gold pieces. Just go ahead. Do you work for Lamar? Hmm, smart kid. Actually, I was on my way to the upper quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was about to board a ship and have it take me to the king for an audience. People like you and me haven't been allowed in the upper quarter since the paladins came. Are you a citizen of this town? If you mean do I live here, yeah. But still they won't let me into the upper quarter. Mm, only the Toths can get in there are the merchants and craftsmen from the lower end of town. The people from the Harbor District don't carry much weight in Corinth. There isn't even a regular militia patrol down here. No matter what your plans are, there'll be plenty of time later. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinth, the Red Lantern. 
This is the most beautiful brothel in all of Mirtana, damn it. Sailors from the most remote corners of the world dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor of spending a night with Nadja, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Why haven't I heard about this? Because if I didn't have enough problems, I already thought as much. Boy, that lunatic's hammering is wearing me down. Who are you talking about? Can't you hear that hammering? Who do you think hammers all day long at the Harbor District? I mean that lunatic felon. He takes the hammer to his hut every day. I could take care of felon. You want to help me? What's in it for you? You tell me. Oh, that's how it is. All right, if you can get him to stop hammering, I'll pay you 25 gold pieces. But I'll tell you one thing right now. You can't talk to the guy. He's nuts. The only thing that will help is a few decent punches. If I beat him up, I'll just get into trouble with the militia. Down here at the harbor, no one pays much attention to brawls. But if you steal around here or mess with the sheep, You'll be in trouble. I'll see what I can do. You can think about it. Remember, I'll pay you 25 gold coins. Why are you hammering? For days now, I've been desperately trying to fix the leaks in my house. The rafters have been crumbling away ever since we had those rainfalls recently. Soon everything's gonna come down around my ears. Go away. Don't tell me that. Will it ever change? Could you stop hammering? No. I have to finish this. I never knew that. Just quit hammering, okay? Just try not to bug me too much, okay? Stop that hammering or I'll break every bone in your body. Forget it, or I'll knock some sense into your head with my hammer. Nobody will learn anything from me. You'll wreck. <laughs> Really? How interesting. But no, he insisted he knew better. He can't keep that to himself. That's been known a long time. Who says things like that? Don't tell me you didn't know that. Don't you try that again. Wait a minute. Okay, so you beat me. Some heroic deed that was. Will you stop hammering now, or do I have to thrash you again? No, don't hit me anymore. I'll stop. But if everything collapses around here, it'll be your fault. You've got no business be You've got no business being here. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. Where 
did you pick that up then? Things I could tell you. He simply talks too much. Don't say you didn't know that. It'll never change. Hey, you! That's an open secret. Well, what have we here? Have you no manners? That's disgusting. Oh, is this filthy rabble. Haven't you a job where you ought to be? But I suppose no one would miss a down at heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. My friend, take a seat on my humble rocks. Take your time to enjoy a pipe. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid ben Haji al Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed, in producing a really good tobacco. How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps towards Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. That's an open secret. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? I never knew that. Orcs. They are guarding an entry. An old tunnel. The Valley of Mines. Men in shining armor. A magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature claims many shall die. I am sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Rebelling peasantry in the surrounding well, areas is this. strictly forbidden. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Hey, come closer. He never would have Take a break and have a sip of cool beer. Lord Andre is springing for a few barrels of free beer. 
I never knew that. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. That's been known a long time. I won't tell her a thing from now on. You hardly know who to believe these days. Really? How interesting. Don't bother me, I'm on duty. Nobody will learn anything from me. That's not what I heard. No, he insisted he knew better. I've gotta go. Suit yourself. He talks too much. I'm no better off myself. These are bad times. That's not what my husband did. Really It was just like you said. It was his decision, wasn't it? He'd better shut up. It can't go on like this forever. He simply talks too much. I've got my own opinion about that. Hey, you! Can you heal me? You do not require healing magic at this time. I want to increase my magic powers. You've been robbed? Well, it's been a while already. It's, it was still rather crowded that night, and I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it, but they couldn't find a thing, of course. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. Only the bandits outside the city are causing us problems. What do you know about the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. But there are several splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. Where did the bandits who had my wanted poster come from? Aha! So it is your mug after all. Why didn't you admit that right away, huh? What are you wanted for? I don't know. Honest. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let me tell you something. If I thought you were in cahoots with those bandits, you'd already be cooling your heels in the slammer. Understood? Still, I'd better report this incident to Lord Andre. But to answer your question, we picked them up near the landowner's place. But they didn't look like Onar's people. I think they're part of a smaller group which is holed up in the mountains near Onar's farm. But if you intend to go there, let me warn you. Those cutthroats make short work of everyone. I'll remember that. Take care of everything for everybody. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. That's not what I heard. This forever. That's not what I heard. I can't believe that. That's terrible. I can't believe that. Damn it. Damn it. All right, give me the armor. You'll love it.
Just you wait, you some bitch. Oh, man, my head. Cut out this magic Smart crap. kid. Do you have anything else to tell me? Leave me alone. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino, the handsome, bon vivant and ladies' man. Poor in cares, rich in wisdom and gold, and the women throw themselves at me. If you have problems, keep them. I don't need them. I met Valentino, and I gave him a sound beating. <laughs> he deserved it. Here, I found this ring on him when our little disagreement had been settled. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who beats him up. Valentino was unable to pay his bar tab last night. He was blathering something about having been robbed or paying me later. <laughs> really? And what did you do? Well, I gave him a good thrashing. What else? Here, take this ring. What? Well, I don't understand. It used to belong to Valentino. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who tans his hide.
I used the spell scroll. Fine, fine. And were you successful? Yes, it worked. Excellent. One small success for science, but a big one for me. Now, I can use my time to instruct you in the arts of alchemy. I could also give you some useful things if you want. Instruct me in the art of alchemy. To prepare a potion at the alchemist bench, you need a laboratory flask. And you're going to need different plants or other ingredients for each potion. Show me your wares. Felon will hammer no longer. Hear that? No more hammering. At last, I thought the fellow would never quit. You've done me a huge favor. You know what? I'll give you 30 gold pieces. Are those your sheep? The only one that belongs to me is the one that answers to the name of Lucy. Ha <laughs> ha That's my wife, Lucy. Their sheep belong to the militia. All the sheep they collect from the farmers, they bring to me. And how are the sheep? The sheep eat and get fatter and fatter. Just like my wife. 